Hello and welcome back to Battletech. So, I don't know really what we should do, to be honest. Um, you know what? Do we have? We could use one more point of morale. Sure, let's do it. Um, I really don't know what what we should do. I, I would like to do some more missions and um, you know raise some stuff for the final bout. Let's let's do this mission. Uh, send it. Whoa. Oh, okay. You follow Doctor Murad into navigation where Samira is helping Decker into an EVA suit. Doctor Murad clears her throat. What do you think you're doing? There's some space junk embedded in the Argo's debrief shield. Samira explains, closing the pressurized helmet. If it's not removed, I, it could cause more damage down the line. Decker volunteered to help. Decker raises a gloved hand. It's not just space junk, Commander. The debris could be dangerous if not removed with care. Dr. Murad points at a di diagnostic display. It's called a debris shield for a reason. It's doing its job. Please, Commander, if we're not convinced... If you're not convinced, there are professionals on Tierlin who can inspect and repair the Argo if need be. There's no reason for Decker to play the hero. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Decker is always in low spirits. Every single time. Every single time we have an event, almost, he's in low spirits. And now we're going to have to wait this out, and we can't honestly really afford to. I guess we have to if we want the, the quick draw to be part of our next mission. I thought you trusted me, Commander. I, I'm not even, I don't even have the heart to read the rest of that, to be honest. It's just, it, it is a little bit frustrating. Decker is like just always a, a, just a low spirits guy. He's just always a bummer, you know? We're getting low on, yeah, we're getting low on money. Um, when a crowd of mech warriors return from shore leave, Glitch trots over to you and Darius frowning. Commander, I was out drinking when a stranger offered to buy the next round. She, uh, he started asking about our company, but I could tell that he already knew about us and about you. She pauses uncertain. Darius prods her, go on, you're not in trouble yet cut to the end glitch cr clears her throat he provided a method for secure communication and offered to pay for information about any more contracts we take in the system um spin your rival's fears into a, neg a negotiation advantage you rest a hand on glitch's shoulder you did the right thing by telling us we'll take it from here after she leaves darius sp speaks his mind honestly i don't care if we've rattled a few cages here in tierland you agree. Might help with closing more contracts while we're here if we're the big mechs on the block. Later in the week, Darius reports that he's managed to turn this to his advantage by charging non-refundable negotiation fees just to present a contract to the company. I should try this more often. Um, I'm kind of thinking that uh, we should just try the next mission with what we've got. I think it'd be more interesting than doing more mercenary missions to raise an unstoppable army. To be honest, um, we are running fairly low on money. So that's the last of the mech repairs. So let's go ahead and do our contract. It's a four and a half star mission. It's this is going to be ridiculous. Oh, I didn't know we had to travel. Oh, that could be really bad, actually. Can we afford our next? Um, we can afford our next financial report. As you're working out on a machine in the Argo's gym, a small group of mech warriors clears equipment out of the way and starts setting up a makeshift basketball court. A ventilation seal ring apparently makes a fine loop or hoop. Glitch and Decker, I swear to God, Decker, approach you. Are you going to play this time, Commander? Two on two. You can be with Medusa. The other mech warriors cheer enthusiastically. Um, push yourself to win. Why not? Hey, as the game progresses, the small group of fans grows into a crowd as word spreads about the game. Glitch can't seem to miss a shot at range and Decker's uh, ball handling is deceptively effective. What, meanwhile, Medusa rebounds like a machine for your team, constantly grabbing errant shots and tipping them in or dishing out to you at the perimeter. The final p play comes down to one ill-considered pass from Glitch, a stolen ball, and your layup rolls perilously around the rim before falling in. The crowd goes wild. Wild. So everyone's gained high spirits, and these are all um, good warriors for our final bout. 
So here's hoping that that um, lasts until the uh, the final mission. And I'm going to do a pause here. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of different ways we can do this, but I feel I kind of just want to go ahead with this. I I am uh, I have enjoyed BattleTech a lot. Uh, I do kind of want to see it, you know, see the end of it. Um, there's a couple things I want to do after this series is over. I do want to do another playthrough with mods, um, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I wouldn't mind taking a break from the Battletech for a little bit. Um, and I do have a, a pretty cool series lined up, so it should be fun. Kamea, welcome home. We haven't spoken face to face since your father's funeral. Strange, isn't it? For all the time we've spent, uh, we've been fighting each other for all of our struggles. We haven't actually talked until now. I'm not here to talk with you, Uncle. I'm here to demand your surrender. Then you'll walk away from this parlay disappointed. Did I teach you nothing, Kamea? The end game is a time for negotiation, not demands. I remember your teachings well enough, Uncle. If our positions were reversed, you would attack me without hesitation or mercy. The founding houses have rallied behind me. You are outnumbered and outgunned, and you have nowhere left to turn. And aside from a single hostage, you have nothing to ne negotiate with. A single hostage? He's your dearest friend. Surely he means more to you than nothing. Alexander means a great deal to me, but I would sacrifice any one person, even myself, for the good of the Reach. You are defeated. Concede. I've heard your proposal. Now you hear mine. You will leave this system in my hands and solidify your power base elsewhere. I will rule Cormadir, and I will hold your friend to ensure your good behavior. You will agree to these terms or you will die. What, what kind of terms are those? What do you mean you will die? We've got the advantage, bud. I will die. Your words are air, uncle. You have nothing left to threaten me with. So you believed when you moved on Castle Nautilus. I think you're, that you're bluffing, and I'm willing to wager my life on it. I'll see you on the field of battle. Uh, yes, I suppose you will. The image on your view screen cuts. Espinosa must have terminated the call. That uh, went about as well as I'd expected. Darius, raise the founding houses on the comms. Tell them that I'm ordering them to drop. All of our companies, our entire fleet, everything we have. As always, I will lead from the front. We're take Why? It's so st silly. We're taking Cormadir, and we are doing it now. I want you to remain at, at ready until I call for you. Prepare your mech warriors and wait for my signal. We are going to crush what remains of Uncle's, uh, Uncle's Directorate. With your company's help, I will retake the throne that was stolen from me, and come hell or high water, we will rescue Lord Madeira. I swear it on my father's name. So here's what I'm thinking. We have a very good, like a very strong mech. We're going to get a cutscene here. A very, very strong lance. Um, I think is so long as they don't take any damage, we should be able to use them multiple times. I really don't think that the game's going to throw uh, a mission at us where we can throw out eight mechs at a time. I think it's going to be multiple missions and multiple bouts um, where we just take four mechs. And so they're like, you'll want two lances because uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to you're going to, you know, you're going to take damage and you're not going to be able to take the same mechs on every single mission. So, with that in mind, I think that uh, we should go in with our strongest. I figured this guy was going to show his face. Every dog in Arano Colors will die. You took my son from me. My hope for the future died with him. Now I'm killing yours. What a loser. Like, you know, I know that uh, it looked bad, but also there's not really much that Arano could have done in the situation involving his son, there is really not much they could have done differently. Like, they gave a pretty good opportunity for, uh, you know, for uh, the dude to stand down, and I just think that, like, anyone who would have listened to that situation, like, putting themselves in a, the reverse position would have been like, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a son. I get it. I get being really sore, but like this whole death wish thing really stinks of like willful ignorance. 
Things are looking pretty grim, I've got to say. But hey, at least we figured out what Espinosa's secret weapon is. Thanks for that ray of sunshine, Yang. Did any of you see the wall behind Ostrogard? There were burn marks, bullet holes, what looked like small arms fire. His sailors must have tried to seize the bridge. If there was a mutiny attempt on the Iberia, it failed, and as unhinged as Ostergard may have sounded, he was right. He can't withdraw our troops without the Directorate cutting them to ribbons, and we can't stop a Fortress-class uh, dropship. At least not through conventional means. Then we'll have to be unconventional. That's right, and that's why we're going to use the Locura. Yeah, I figured that they were going to use this. They're going to they're gonna drop the virus on... Uh, uh, Ostergaard's ship, basically. No, uh no way. Lady Arana, that code completely screwed us at Castle Nautilus. It nearly detonated our fuel tanks. It's too dangerous to go tinkering around with. We can't. We don't have a choice, Samire. It's the closest thing we have to a weapon that could destroy that ship. If I were wrong about this, Pharaoh would have told us by now. Tell them, Doctor. We can do this, can't we? Yes, I think we can. Even if it doesn't destroy the Iberia, it'll cripple her long enough to take her out of, of the fight. But that code is a science experiment, not a weapon. I think that I can modify it into one, but there will be risks involved, and I can't offer any guarantees. There are never any guarantees in li this life, Doctor. Just do your best. I'd imagine you'd feel that way. I'll go ahead and get started. We're going to need to get uh, a way to get this code into Ostergaard's ship. I'd suggest taking over a ground-based communications array, something on a network that the Iberia's computer trusts. There's a directorate's uh, comm station on Lyris. The Throne's world's, uh, Throne World's second moon. It was the system's primary communications hub during my father's reign, and my uncle used it for the same purpose now. You could use it to transmit the Locura, then destroy it. The control tower is automated, so there shouldn't be any collateral damage. You'd be killing two birds with one stone. I like how you think. I'll rig the explosives. We are likely to encounter heavy resistance when we touch down. I'll see if I can find an engineering solution to help us deal with that. Maybe my team could seize control of their turrets, make them fight for us for a change. Well, we've, we've had turrets on a number of occasions. You could probably try to bring a jump-capable lance if you can, Commander. Um, calm arrays like the one on Lyris tend to be housed on elevated platforms with lots of ramps and choke points. Good to know I don't really have a lot of jump mechs, but we'll see what I can do. Thank you, Doctor. We're hinging everything on this plan's success. It is vital that Ostergaard's attention remains fixed on me and the Restoration Army, to the exclusion of your operation on Lyris, and so I will give him something to focus on. I'm accelerating our offense, our offensive. We're marching on the Directorate's final stronghold, C Cordia City, the capital of Cormadir. If anything will keep him focused on you, that will. We'll do our part. Damn right we will. We'll rendezvous with Lady Arano on Cormadir when the job is done. You've got a job to do, people, and it'll be the biggest challenge we've ever taken on. So put on your war faces and follow the com commander's lead. We've got a drop ship to crash. Okay, so um, maybe we don't take all of our stompy mechs. Let me just see which ones. Obviously, the crab still has jump jets, I think. Yes, one jump jet. Exactly one. Um, the Highlander does have jump jets. The Annihilator does not have jump jets. The Awesome does not have jump jets. What about the Quick Draw? The, the Quick Draw, it being a bruiser, does have jump jets. So whatever we need to do, we could possibly gain sight on stuff with the Quick Draw. It could be our scout for once. Why don't we put Decker in the, the Quick Draw? We'll swap Medusa and Decker. Decker is going to be taken out of the awesome and thrown in the quick draw. This is going to be risky, but it might be worth it. Um, we might take the Annihilator out. Who else has jump jets? Um, I really like the Annihilator, so I don't necessarily want to take it off the battlefield. Ah, the Battlemaster has a jump jet. Okay, so let's try this arrangement. It's not great. I really don't want to miss or lose the, um... Uh, and the King Crab is no longer long range, so that really sucks. I personally think it's not worth losing the Annihilator, even if it means it can't participate in literally, like, every single part of this battle. It's just too valuable. 
Um, there's also the stalker, but the stalker can't jump, and I don't have enough time to, um, like, rig it with jump jet. So we're doing it this way. It's a four and a half star mission. It's going to be really tough. We'll see what we can do. All right. Let's see how spicy this gets. This could be the wrong move. I definitely have a lighter mech than I'm used to. Sorry about the rough, uh, rough landing. Fair, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm all right. The rumble seat is even less comfortable than it looks, though. Tell me about it. Did you find the care package I left in there for you? The explosives? Yeah, I'll set them to bring down the control tower after I've uploaded the Locura to the Iberia. So we gotta, we're gonna take out Ostergaard. That's one plot hook we gotta kind of tie up. And then um, take out, uh, what's his face? Uncle and uh, and his daughter, uh, Miss Annoying. Winner of the Annoying Award. All right, let's uh, sprint to the, oh, it's really, wait, that's the crab? Wow, that's a lot of evasion we just generated. I guess we did sprint. making sure that we can stay in the forest because why not oh wow yeah it the quick draw really is very mobile look at that zippy okay we've got quite a lot of blips on the map Waiting for orders. um the quick draw gets a slight advantage now ideally i would like to not we can jump. This is me jumping. Uh, ideally, we'd like to generate a lot of evasion and um, get close to something and smack it. Um, that's going to be the quick draws, like, main MO. Not sure. I mean, this is good for now. And also, like, it's their scout, right? So it'll get in there. We attack whatever can see it pretty quickly. We have that APC. We definitely want to get in quickly, you know, so the APC stands the best chance. Also, whatever shots get, you know, thrown at the quick draw that will likely miss are going to be things that uh, are hopefully not lobbed over at our main stompy mechs that are not going to be able to avoid them as easily. Look at that. That was good. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, we can do what we do best. And, um, this is, uh, this kind of sucks in terms of, like, our movement. I don't know why. I guess this APC is blocking us really badly. I think, um, my options here is I'd like to start taking some shots on that Orion. And I definitely would like to take out that turret. Not sure, like, if I take out the turrets, I wonder if that means we don't get to take them over. So let's lob over our best stuff on the Orion and what's left to the turret. No I've got oh my god. We got a lucky headshot on the, uh, on the Orion. Yeah, the game's running really slow. I'm going to see if I can allocate more stuff. This game has horrible optimization problems. Let me see if I can't fix this. All right, hopefully that, that buys us a, a few few more frames for our efforts. Okay, um, we've got some pretty good shots. Oh, God. The, okay, we got a multi-hit, actually. We actually can do multi-hits now with the... Um, the Highlander, and that's good because it. I would prefer. Let's do the gauze on the that laser turret. We still we're still having performance issues. This really bites. Game a game is shouldn't be having this much problems. Um, we should be able to take out that turret with the gauze. No, it in fact did not take it out. I'm surprised. Okay, we got some pretty good hits on the Vindicator. Why? I don't. I don't know why this game is chugging so hard. Okay. Um. Let's 
would like to obviously take out the turret um that's a bad spot because i can only hit it with the ac wow this this uh kind of sucks a little bit a little 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 bit sucks I guess let's just uh, hit it with an AC-10. Nice. So we've already taken out the Orion. Um, there's still some, you know, fairly big stuff. The quick draw may be able to do a melee hit on uh, that Vindicator, especially if it moved up. Oh, they did a sensor lock. That's not good. Yeah, that's gonna guarantee we we take a bit more damage. Barely hit, Commander. Okay, Decker, can you? Oh, you can't move up enough to to do a melee hit on the Vindicator, but we can move up enough to hit it with the coil. That'd be kind of fun. Aye, aye. Let's do that. Um, we can honestly hit it with everything here, and I don't think that that would be a bad thing. All weapons are go. Nice. That's another mech off the field. We generated a lot of heat, but that's okay. The quick draw is meant to run around, and it'll get that to heat back. Why are we moving right up in there, huh? Okay, the, the APCs are... I guess they may be... Okay, we're the fortunately the catapult is more focused on on our uh, Highlander um, What do we want to do here Do you want to take out those turrets do we have a nice line of sight on two things here? Uh, not really what is that a Jenner we don't care about the Jenner I guess this is the best we got not great we have a, a sort of um, not great shot on two different things I think we can only hit certain things with a B I guess just the AC 10 can hit the hit the heavy sniper turret um, it's just a Jenner we shouldn't need to hit it with too much stuff. I'd like to conserve some ammo. That's pretty good. We did knock something off at least. And we did some damage to that heavy sniper turret. I am so sorry that the performance is so bad right now. I, I don't know what to do about that. Yep. Okay, um... What can we do here? I'd like to lob a gauze at that sniper turret. I don't think it'll be enough to take it out, but, um, you know, it's better than nothing. And um, we'll also throw some LRMs at that uh, Jenner. So let's do LRM 15 on the Jenner, gauze rifle on the sniper turret. Didn't quite take it out. And I'm pretty sure I hit the Jenner right where most of its armor is left. Now, I if I can get a good shot... Wow, all of our positions suck right now. We can get a pretty good shot on two things here, maybe. Oh, this is good. Oh, we can maybe potentially take out two things here. Let's take out both these turrets. Wow, that's that performance is so god awful. It's it's kind of comical. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. I should take that out, and then I hopefully this is enough to take that out. Mm, no. I think there's just like so much going on in this mission that it's like hurting our performance. So um, APC ran up and, and took out the Jenner. That's quite nice. We still have, we have a lot of turrets left over. 
The story of the director at Garrison. Get fair to the comm control. Uh, escort okay. the APC Keep turret official. to control Don't Alpha and Bravo. Who just shot at the APC? We definitely don't want the APC getting shot at. Really wish I could do a melee hit on the shredder. Um, yeah, let's just uh, this this kind of bites, but let's let's see if we can't take out the um, the shredder with what we've got here and uh, recover a little bit of our heat. Roger that. Yeah, that's good enough. One less turret. Powering down enemy turrets, Commander. Give us a moment and we'll rewrite their targeting protocol. Powering down enemy turrets, Commander. I'm assuming... Does that mean the Modifier rest of the turrets target. are ours? So if I hadn't blown up those turrets, they, we would have got to keep them? So we just have that catapult left. Oh. It's amazing how Medusa always gets injured. Copy that. Um, let's go for the headshot. Why not? Targeting for an alpha strike. Unsteady. I hear ya. And we should be able to get the kill here. Whatever's exposed is uh, up for grabs. Nice. Dang, you're dead. Okay, so we've got a moment of reprieve. Just a moment. Um, we gotta get to that control. Get com fair to the calm control. So I'm not sure what is left. It might be nothing, but uh, I, I would not be surprised if there isn't like one more big surprise. Moving like, in. honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if like Victoria doesn't show her oh, face on this mission because we could be tying up two plot holes or not plot holes but like plot ends on this mission but i have a funny feeling that that's not going to be the case because like you know it, it's going to be it's going to be lady arano that that gets to kill either victoria or Ah, uh, her uncle, right? Uh -huh. It's gonna be the the main protag, you know what I mean? Location confirmed. Turret group alpha reprogrammed in one round. Alpha turrets are ours, Commander. Bravo turrets belong to us. So we get to keep what's left, which is nice. Is there seriously like nothing left? Are we just kind of like skipping turns for a while? Because this this seems really easy. The toughest thing they had was an Orion. Acknowledged. You betcha. Copy that. Um, I'm gonna do a pause here and s until something happens. Okay, all right, I'm inside. Should take me a few minutes to find the Array's control center. Hook up the drive and prep the system to transmit the Locura to the Iberia. And on that note, I'm going radio silent for a bit. Hold the base while Farah rigs the comm array. Okay, well, there there must be something about to drop. Heavy activity on all directory. Okay, so yeah, something is about to drop on us. For sure. So let's just, like, get into an okay position. I wish I had not run our quick draw all the way over here, because I really don't know if it's going to be useful over here at all. Okay, enemy contact. Yeah, I figured they were gonna come in somewhere over there. We'll have turrets, but the, <laughs> our scout is as far away from them as possible, which really sucks. You know what really sucks is that they were able to drop and then like take an attack in the same turn. Well, we can uh, sprint to them and get a line of sight on them with a quick draw, which is quite nice. Uh, we'll be able to take shots on them with our long range. We might even be able to get some height. They've got another Orion. 
What do you mean you're just hitting me with a one medium laser? That's Good to go. highly kind of pathetic, honestly. Okay, I just want to make sure that I actually have the ability to... Wow, what is up with our position here? Okay, let's just get somewhere where we can see something and uh, take some shots on that grasshopper, maybe. Um, yeah, we can we can shoot it. The head. It would have been nice if we'd one one shot it, hit it, but uh, at least we exposed it. We we set it up for something else. Um, okay, this isn't bad. Can we hit something with the gauze? Okay, we can hit that grasshopper with the gauze. So let's set ourselves up over there and try and take out the grasshopper. Wow, we did hit the head. We may as well continue going for it, honestly. We knocked it over. That's pretty good. We should be able to take that out on the next turn, on the next mech's turn, which is the crab. The crab is no longer long range. Wow, the crab just, it's a very short range mech and it's in the worst place right now. I really didn't know what to expect, right? You, uh, you gotta cut me uh, some slack here. But hey, um, we've got some like allies over there. Would be really nice if they, yeah, well they didn't. They shot at something not knocked over. God, that's frustrating. Look, just shoot the mech that's on the ground. Do a, do a good call out, you know? Whatever. Hey, at least they are hitting something. And they're sensor locking something good. We've got turrets. Too bad the turrets couldn't have uh, hit the grass hopper while it was knocked over. We've got some nice ACs hitting the Thunder... I mean, we've got really good stuff going on here. Uh, they might take out that carrier. Nope. Actually, we're totally good. Um, kind of want to just, like... Jump down here. Actually... Oh, we could do a DFA. It might do some damage to us. I don't think it's worth it. Let's, uh, we'll jump down, generate a bunch of evasion, and then shoot it all at the, uh, with the coil M. We'll generate a lot of heat, but now we're in a prime position to do some, uh, melee hits. This is gonna be good. Um, let's just, like, knock some armor off. Yeah, that, that, uh, right torso is perfect. Hit it with everything. Why is the coil M only generating 25 or doing 25 damage? What the heck? Is it like only evasion built up from running? We might as well not even fire with it. Like it's generating a lot of heat for nothing. God, I, every time I think I've got the coil M figured out, it's, it throws a loop at me. Okay, well, oh well. Yeah, I didn't think we were even gonna pen it. But, you know, doing anything is pretty good with a quick draw. They've got some... Oh, yeah. They did a melee hit on one of my little... Little uh, vehicles. Yeah. That's a bummer. Um, we can hit that catapult from behind. So that's quite nice. Wait, why? What, wrong one. Wrong one. Like, we could potentially take this catapult out here. Let's just do the torso. Copy that. We took it out! Yes! It Excellent. Fantastic. We got lucky there because they, they took a moment to turn our their back to us so they could kill the poor little APC or whatever the carrier um glitch is running out of ammo glitch should be able to with what she's got left maybe take out this grasshopper that's that's that done head destroyed 
we killed the grasshopper so there's just two of them left we might honestly have like one more drop ship of enemies come in it would not surprise me <sighs> crab is only now able to hit something and it's probably just the ac i'm not even gonna spend a precision shot on this it's a good thing i put the ac on there that's something Oh, don't move up. Three hits on the uh, Thunderbolt. Damaging the sensors or impairing the sensors is pretty good. Um, some decent hits on the Thunderbolt from behind. Yeah, we didn't have a good clean shot on the Thunderbolt. They probably should have taken the you know, shot at the Orion. I wish the AI, AI was a little bit smarter about these things. But I guess if it was smarter for me, it would also be smarter for the enemy, right? Okay, so like, yeah, I guess it's only evasion built up from moving. But anyway, I want to punch this thing. I want to punch it hard. Targeting for physical attack. Boom, 95 is, is nice. And we shot it a couple times. It's not as much as I was kind of hoping it would be. Uh, LRM is still standing. Can we do anything with the crab? No, we can't. Crab is still in an awful position. We can uh, hit that thunderbolt from maybe the behind? Nope, only the front. I don't know. Let's shoot the leg. That did help did knock it over. Knocking it over would have been probably too much to ask. Um, mm, our position is bad. Okay. Let's see if we can't uh, hit that thunderbolt. Take it out from here. We've got good shots with all of our stuff, so we may as well take it. Yeah, that's that. So I think it's just the, what was this thing again? Uh, an Orion. I mean, uh, the Orion's not nothing. Wish we had a clean shot on it, but we don't. Can't have everything. So we'll just lob some LRMs at it. It's, it's a fairly fresh Orion, I think. No, actually I've hit it a couple times. But either way, this should expose it at the very least. Yeah. Oh, we actually got a lucky AC uh, crit on the ammo. Did some nice damage to it. Oh yeah, we, we've got our little uh, allies are probably gonna take it out. I don't think any of our mechs got exposed. Which means that we are gonna be able to take them on the next mission. We won't necessarily want to take the quick draw. The quick draw was a good um, mobile mech for this mission. Good to go. Oh, we can like stomp on it. Let's do that. Crunch. <laughs> Pilot incapacitated twice. Hmm. Yeah, we've got another dropship. Assault mechs inbound. I figured there was going to be more. I was kind of hoping that'd be it, but, um, you know. Oh, oh, I was kind of hoping that turret would get to yes, live to see another day. Okay, we're going to sprint in with the quick draw and get line of sight on all these things. We've got a battle master. Oh, these are actually really tough mechs. What do we got? Is that, that's, that looks like a rifleman. No, it's a Jaeger. Oh, please don't, don't kill that turret. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now, unfortunately, Glitch is out of ammo on just about everything. God, there's so much in the way. So she's going to be exclusively taking shots on heads at this point, because that's the only way she's going to potentially kill something with these. Um, wow. Why 
is our we just we can't get a clean shot on anything okay this is pretty good this is actually very good let's just go for that torso uh we didn't get the kill that's really disappointing the good news is the crab is actually kind of close to this mess so the crab's gonna get some stuff i i we have an indirect fire on that uh jaeger but i'd really really like to take it out just so that we don't have to deal with like like one thing um let's try and take out that torso and i'm gonna take off we have a lot of ammo, so I'm just going to hit it with uh, stuff that ge doesn't generate a lot of heat. Yeah, probably didn't have to hit it with most of that stuff, but I wanted to guarantee the kill. I really didn't want to mess around. We have the spare ammo, so it I, I feel like it's fine. We've still got a bunch of allies that can probably hit it. Oh, God, they exposed. That's really bad, actually. They hit the crab's head. Yeah, they destroyed that turret. Honestly, I'm good with that because they wasted a turn hitting a turret that was almost dead anyway. We still have a turret left and it's got the, the ACs on it, so. Oh, are you kidding me? I've just touched down, but we've got a problem. I have a squadron of Directorate Aerospace Fighters on radar and they're heading our way. We need to clear out of here before they arrive. How much time have we got? Not much. They're carrying enough hardware to blow our leopard to hell and back again. I can do this. Just keep the directorate off me, Commander. I need a, only a few more minutes. Shoot. Is that more enemies? Or No, that's the leopard. Okay. Um, all right, so can we get to something interesting here? We can we have to we're gonna have to jump unfortunately. We could do a jump um, attack, but that's generally not worth it. So let's just jump to behind them. Actually, we could do some really nasty damage from behind. It's a good, good idea. Good idea, me. Unfortunately, we're also going to be exposing ourselves. Let's, um... I don't think I like. I mean, let's do it. Roger that. It's not great, but if we can kill something, this is highly worth it. We're just going to go for that rear um, center torso shot. And I am going to use the coil M because we're going to be doing melee hits after this. Affirmative. <sighs> Can't really be affording to miss when you're like right behind it. Okay. Um, let's try and kill that Jenner. Don't need to tell me twice. Here we go. Yes. Nice. It's it, that was just their scout, but it's it's still good to you know clear something off the board. And um, I'm hoping we can take out that Battlemaster um, with the quick draw on the next turn. So I'm just going to go for the Banshee. Um, we could go for a headshot, but I feel like it'd be a better idea to actually like do this proper and knock off something on the shoulders. We could take out a PPC. We could take out a... Oh, okay, so it's like everything on... Where are all of its weapons? I guess they're evenly distributed. So I guess with that in mind, we may as well go for like the torso and just hit it as hard as possible. Not bad. Um, we can potentially knock it over at the very least. We could... If, uh, if I had a precision shot left over, we could have taken it out. But we might get lucky. No. We didn't even knock it over. 
I, I feel like stability damage is a trap. I feel like it's like something. Oh, it, we did knock it over. My bad. And hey, our turret did like an actual good called shot. Still didn't take it out though. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, stability damage seems good in theory. And then uh, you actually try and accomplish it. And it's just like, occasionally it comes in handy, but most of the time you're spending a lot of resources trying to make it happen. And then those resources are just spent. Oh, fortunately the Battlemaster got behind the quick draw and then ignored it completely. And it's sensor locked. This is good. Um, again, I'm pretty sure we can... We should be able to take it out here. The problem is... I wanted to do a... Um, a melee hit. It might be better to just melee hit the Banshee since it's pretty close to dying. We might get a we might get a hit on the uh, torso and that way we don't expose ourselves so completely Confirm. My weight into it. not bad but i mean the quick draw is predictably underperforming compared to like our 100 ton and 80 ton mechs um yeah, I mean, let's just, uh, like, the, the thing is the Battlemaster is fully armored, so our our efforts are better spent trying to take out the Banshee. Tell me what to shoot. There we go. Did you see that? Did you see it? And then at this point, we can start, like, just pummeling the Battlemaster. It does have a lot of stuff, but it's all fairly small stuff. I'm just going to smack it anywhere. I don't think it matters too much. It's got armor everywhere. So like we will do raw damage, but it's never going to be enough to actually kill the thing. Now we can potentially kill it here. Is it anything exposed that that uh, right shoulder is? We will want to take off a couple of our lasers and then this might be enough to kill it. Mm, wow, it wasn't even enough to kill the shoulder. That's fine. It's hitting the crab. The crab got exposed, I just realized. So we're not going to have the crab for the next mission. That's, that's actually really bad. Nice. So we have three rounds remaining. Does that mean we're going to have to fight off another Lance? I really hope not. I copy. So I'm going to sprint over in, uh, I guess, like in the attempt to meet the potential other Lance. Shit, Ostergarden. Garbage man. We are out of time. Those fighters are almost within weapons range. I need to get you now. Remote trigger armed. Explosives primed. I'm ready. Meet me at the evac point and we'll get the hell out of here. Mission. Nice. All right. Um, we'll do the story and I'll pr I'm pretty sure that'll end our uh, episode Thank God we got three million credits. I don't know what we'd you know 
what we would do. I'm a little bit worried we aren't going to get to have the crab in the next mission. But look at all the stuff. Look at all the stuff we get. We get all of these things. Partial mech salvage. We can build an Orion. That's kind of nice. Um, any cool weapons? Mm, not really. I mean, we got a couple of medium medium lasers no cool ppcs uh arm mod gyro uh, heat banks would be kind of nice no what's a range fighter oh plus 25 meter view distance that's quite nice i'll take that We got a grasshopper part, we got a Jenner part, we got the third Orion part. Oh, we got, oh, I see. We, we just built two different Orions. That's kind of, uh, we just like hit all three sevens on the slot machine there. Value 18 million credits a salvage claimed. Whew. Dang. <laughs> Well, we've got tons of mechs now to uh, replace the crab, should it be the one that, uh, if we can't repair it. And it's damage on the head, so like we really can't afford to take the take it into the next battle if that is still the case. Ooh. We don't have volume again. Nice. Don't get to enjoy this final potential cutscene tying up a loose plot line with volume. <laughs> cool. I mean, that would be um, not just like bad for them, but anyone on that battlefield would probably be taken out. Like that is the equivalent of like several nuclear blasts, I would think. If that thing's coming from orbit. Like that would not be slow. <laughs> In orbit, Cormadir invaded a capital. The Iberia is gone, uncle. Ostergard can't help you and you have no more cards to play. For the good of our people, you must end this. Order your troops to stand down. Our people, that's oh, what this has always been about, you know? Had you only listened to me, I would never have taken your throne. I didn't desire power for its own sake. My only care was for the reach, its prosperity, its enduring glory. And yet you reached for that glory on the backs of our people. This thing that you've built, it isn't who you are. Sorry, it isn't who we are. Uh, our directorate has fallen, uncle. Your directorate has fallen. Clinging to it will not help the Reach. Nothing will help the Reach, not anymore. This war has doomed us all. The realms bleed, Kamea. We're weaker now than we've ever been, and soon enough the, the sharks will begin to circle. I've spent time- oh my god. I've spent time in the Inner Sphere, did you know that? I know how this game is played. Right now, in this moment, all that matters is you and us. Save it. You sanctioned Mastiff Montgomery's death. I owe you a bullet for that. You cannot kill me, mercenary. If you do, you'll turn me into a martyr, and the Reach will never, ever be at peace. Kamea, listen to me. Cormadir is yours. I will stand down, but you must take me alive. The realm will tear itself apart if you don't. No, father, you cannot do this. The Reach depends on the Directorate for survival, for glory. You told me yourself that if we fail, the realm will die. The Directorate has already fallen, Victoria. We've lost. Continuing the fight would only cost more lives. Cost lives? Cost lives? You ordered me to kill 11,000 people on Perdition, and now you care about bloodshed? There is an ocean of blood on my hands, Father. I spilled it because you told me it was necessary. And it was, but our gambit has failed. It's over, Victoria. I know that's hard for you to accept, but you must stand down. No, Father. You may have gone craven, but I am a mech warrior. I will die before I concede defeat. You want this world, Kamea? Come and fight me for it. Your lance against mine, at the tourney grounds, the contest that was denied us, you and me, to the death for the Reach. Aren't you tired of death yet, cousin? Was the Perdition Massacre not enough for you? 
I did that for the Reach, for our people. It was my responsibility. I didn't have a choice, but you don't understand, and you never will. And so I will make things easy for you. You don't have to understand why I've done the things I've done. You need only face me in the arena, where I will best you, as I always have, and as I was trained to do. You will give me what I want, or your dear Alexander will pay the price. My father was too weak to kill him, but I am not. Accept my challenge, Kamea. Accept it, or I will grind him to pulp under my battle mech's foot. I almost pity you. You'll have your fight, Victoria, and yours will be the last blood that I spill in this war. Prepare your mech warriors. When I face my cousin in the arena, I want your company by my side. Wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll see you when your lance makes planet fall. Let's make, bring this war to a close. Orion K was the first true heavy mech. As a multi-role brawler, the Orion can engage enemies at a variety of ranges and with plenty of armor. It can survive combined fire for quite some time. Slow, yes, but powerful. The Orion V trades some of the armor the K model is known for to mount additional weaponry. This increases its overall damage output, but many pilots consider the loss of armor to be risky. Okay, um, so the King Crab is damaged. Still. I'm not sure. I guess it, it's, it gets its full head armor, but it, it's lost five points of health on its uh, internals. So if we took another headshot, it could mean the end of us. A little bit risky to take, but I think it might be worth it. Um, we are definitely taking the Annihilator. I think we're going to forgo the Highlander. Um, I'm not sure for what, though. I kind of want to take the Awesome. What does the Highlander have again? I mean, it's it's good. I think it's worth it, maybe. Uh, I mean, it is one of our heaviest mechs. So... Medusa took some damage, so we're gonna have to put, um, we'll put Decker in the Highland. Uh, no, I don't like, uh, he, no one else has multi-hit, so can't really do anything about it. Um, I almost wonder if it wouldn't be worth putting Decker in the King Crab and having a big simple in the Highlander, because it would be more valuable to multi-hit with the Highlander than it would the King Crab. Even though the King Crab has a lot more weaponry, it's more likely to direct that weaponry at one target than it is anything else. It's a weird way of doing things, but I think it would be good. And uh, we're going to do that on the next episode. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. This is probably going to be the end of uh, Battletech. I have a funny feeling the next episode is the last one. We'll see. But uh, take it easy. Have a good day.